All right, this is Ubiquitron. I'm playing Kerbal Space Program today. Today we are building uh, the Kerbin, Kerbal equivalent of Boeing and NASA's CST-100 Starliner. Uh, we're gonna start start by naming the craft. Uh, we're gonna call it the KST, the Kerbal oh, Space Transport, I believe. And we're going to name it the 1000 because we're just that awesome. But it's going to be the Curb Liner. So CST, Crew Space Transport 100. Uh, it was developed by Boeing and Bigelow for NASA's Commercial Crew Development Program. Uh, it's really basically just a re-entry capsule. I'm done. Right there. We're done. Um, obviously, this isn't just going to get its way into space. So we need to add a few other things. Uh, what I'm gonna need, for starters, is a decoupling ring because the CST has this crazy, like, uh, kind of storage bay underneath its, underneath its main capsule. And this, this is good, open. Uh, this is for, this is for, all the equipment and stuff it's going to bring back with it and for the the re-entry part uh what i'm going to need for that is first we're going to put what do these tiny rockets use not those those use liquid fuel where are the rcs rockets these no not those where are they there's those those tiny weird little nozzly rockets there we go. And these use monopropellant. Lots of monopropellant. So inside that, our supposed um, cargo bay. Oh gosh, that's really not a whole lot of cargo. I like it though. Uh, we're also going to shove some batteries. Because it's what we do. Oh yeah. And down here on the bottom so that should be enough RCS fuel for decades and I'm gonna slap this onto the bottom like that put these crazy little nozzly things like so and I think how big are these I think we might reconsider our fuel options yeah, I think I like these better. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to delete that tank, these things, go back, get legit fuel, um, slap this bad boy on there, and then these things. These are next to worthless engines. They're what provide 16 max thrust. That's enough to uh, bring a spacecraft back from uh, orbit. That shouldn't be an issue. We're not going to be doing like crazy maneuvers with this thing. It's mostly it's mostly just a taxi to get uh, Kerbals to the Helio Lab, Kermit, Kerman, Ker, Ker, those guys to the Helio Lab and bring back some new ones. So we're gonna put a docking. That's not what I wanted. Docking clamp. Could, oh, and we also probably need some parachutes. So, uh, start, uh, we're going to do drug shoots, two drug shoots, like so. And I guess we probably also need to put a heat shield on here. That's going to make things pretty heavy. Aerodynamics, is it struct? No, there it was. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. And then, where's our big, big boy shoots? Right there. Looking good. So we're, I'm obviously going to have to stage all this at another point. But let's go back to structural. So that this is our re-entry section. Uh, obviously we have plenty of room in there for cargo in the event that we actually wanted cargo. I should also probably actually put some RCS stuff here. So let's, let's look at our center of mass. And put some right here as well. That way we have stuff on both ends of our center of mass. We're also going to need 
some solar panels as usual can never have too many solar panels and I'm actually gonna put the 1x6 hopefully these actually survive there we go this thing is getting pretty busy since this is gonna be a legit spacecraft I'm going to come here and we're going to put on what is wrong with my mouse today we're gonna to put on this crazy crew save system so that's gonna be our abort button alright so we're good now so now we can just build our basic spacecraft which is gonna consist of this and not the poodle is it the reliant no not the reliant the skipper and then we're gonna build our standard launch system which is this monster this monster this four-way engine some of these decouplers like so with the full stack of SRBs oh I think I missed it looking good um, I want to make sure that those get away from my spacecraft so we're gonna do like so flip that there we go and then I want to bring that in mirror this ah perfect and just for a little stability this business looking good I like it and as with everything struts struts for days uh, let's see I like it so let's close that up this looks terrible but that's fine there we go looking good one final set of struts I think I don't think we can do that that'll work I guess so those let's be sure and add these right here and these right here that's looking good so I'm gonna stage this up real fast and we'll be right back okay so got all my staging done got my torque wheel on got my RCS on just because uh, our goal here is to rendezvous with the Helio lab it is placed just right hopefully about where we can just go on up there and all we need to do now is launch. I've done some crazy staging uh, with some actions in there, so we'll see what happens. But let's go. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling into my gravity turn. Hopefully I don't flip out. You can see the termination line across the sky. That's pretty cool. We should be able to see the, uh, not quite sunrise because we're just flying up over the horizon so I don't know if it's still called a sunrise at that point but we'll be able to witness the beauty of nature there it goes something just broke nope this here sounded like something broke so we're 10,000 meters up I'm gonna continue that slow roll into my gravity turn might be able to, no, not quite gonna break a thousand meters a second before this fuel burns up oh 
Oh, this always concerns me. So there's a thousand meters a second. We're 23,000 meters up. We're about to lose our SRBs. This is completely untested, so we'll probably witness some catastrophic failures. Oh, that was perfect. Take that. Ha ha. So we're at 40,000 meters up. I'm going to keep rolling into my into my gravity turn. We have entered space. And so this is going to be my first. That was pointless. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Aim at the horizon. And I think I can probably just go ahead and uh, restage all this because it's not going to do what I wanted it to do. Oh my gosh. I probably should have been paying attention to what I was doing. So let's aim at, I don't really know what that's called, Re prograde, retrograde, normal, anti-normal, no, and then radial and anti-radial. So is this my, that's my radial vector, and it should help flatten out this trajectory. I am a little worried at this point that we might not have enough fuel. We're already halfway into our fuel tank. But if I can level this out at about 500,000 meters, I think that would be perfect. And then we can conserve some fuel. There we go. And right there. Perfect. All right. So what we're going to do now is we've got all this. I think... How much fuel do we have left? That's that's plenty of fuel. What we're going to do is first we're going to add we're going to warp here. <laughs> Can't believe we've flung all that crap way up there. So we're going to stay in a in a, a lower orbit than Helio Lab so it can catch up to us. But what I'm going to do now is burn off the little fuel in here. Uh, so we're going to burn prograde. Do I have battery? Yeah, I got battery power. I got plenty of battery power. So we're going to burn prograde. Oh, got some major torquing on there. And then... There we go. And we're going to keep doing this okay and so now we gotta slowly bring that up to 500,000 meters at this rate I am going to extend my solar panels I probably should have dropped that off because that's let's do that real fast uh, there we go. <laughs> and then <laughs> throttle back up. <laughs> that should fall back to the planet, maybe. So where are we going at with this? This is 380, 390. Do we have enough fuel? I think we have enough fuel. 450. Let's make 475. And we're going to circularize this orbit and then call it a day. Add maneuver. I'm going to fire a little bit retrograde to bring this back to 470. 5. So 475, 477. That's eh, close enough. So we're going to reorient ourselves and warp to next maneuver. This is an, a fun little spacecraft. There seems to be some issues with this storage container. I don't know what's going on there. That seems to have helped. So we'll just we'll just leave that like so, because that concerns me just a bit. So we got an eight-second burn. 
So as you can see, I've added more fuel, uh, RCS fuel, which I've used up quite a bit of, and we're about halfway on that fuel tank. Let's see what we got. Valata Kerman, Lynn Pond Kerman, <laughs> what? And Mila Kerman, Lind Pond. Let's see what Lind Pond is looking at. He's in a fun seat. Ah, oh, well, such a view. Six, five, four. There we go. So now we're going to watch. This is just going to flip really hard. There we go. So 477, 475. Perfect. 0.2 meters a second left to burn. All right. So there we go. There is our KST 1000 uh, curb liner slowly delivering we're quite a bit ahead actually I did this wrong <laughs> so we're gonna have to raise our orbit up uh, to ensure that the Helio Lab catches up with us so we're, I'm not quite done maneuvering I did screw this up just a tad but I'm gonna take this to about 510 and circularize the orbit there But that will happen in another video. Until then, this is Yubikatron playing Kerbal Space Program, and we'll see you in the future. All right, this is Yubikatron. I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. I am flying the KST-1000 Kerb Liner. We're going to try and do a rendezvous. But first, I need to uh, make a new orbit. And we're going to set our orbit at about 510,000 meters. 520. That's, that's good enough. Let's do that. Basically, we need the Helio Lab to catch us up. And I screwed up quite a bit when I set the orbit, and we're moving ahead of it, unfortunately. So we're going to warp the next maneuver. <clears throat> this might be a slightly boring episode. Uh, if you've ever watched Rendezvous, you know it's painstaking and horrible. Uh, that thing needs to go. So let's see. We have a forcing of burn, so that means I have to... I have to start at two seconds. We're about to go behind the planet. That shouldn't be an issue because I have plenty of battery in here. And for those little tiny ones, that's 550 plus whatever's in the command module. So, what we're going to do, we still got a few seconds, and we're uh, the longer we take, like the more we're pulling ahead of Helio Lab. So, and we're, I'm relying on this, on this uh, tank of fuel to do all these maneuvers. So I'm going to keep this fil filled up. These really aren't that much fuel. <clears throat> oh, I probably should have been paying attention. It shouldn't matter much. All right. So where are we now? So we're at 519, good enough. So from there, I'm going to add another maneuver. What are we here? 512? And, nope, 513. I need to go a little bit faster than that. 517, 519, and 520. Good enough. So, warp to next maneuver. So that garbage is probably not going to fall to the planet. I think I'm going to have to delete that. There's no way I'm going to try and catch it. And then there's a whole ton of garbage up here. What is all that stuff? Oh, that's all falling to the planet, though, so that's good. It's an awful lot of debris. So we have another four-second burn. And we have... 40 seconds to get there. So let's look at our ship. Ship's doing pretty good. It's not the most amazing looking craft on Earth. So this guy has a pretty good view. Yeah. Let's look out this window. Oh gosh, we're clipping through his head. And there's the moonrise, the moonrise. There's something on that island way down there. Oh, that's the uh, space center. It's interesting that you can see it from here. 
there's like three or four planes parked at the island runway and then there's a whole ton of stuff going on at the space center on that island is our target oh I should probably pay attention yeah <laughs> stop being a tourist and look at what you're doing let's turn off RCS because it seems to be causing using up a lot of fuel so yeah there's the our target facility over there which we've never been able to hit uh, let's take a look at the front of the ship that's pretty boring you can turn there's the Milky with the Kerbal Way. Oh, there's the sun. We're blinded. All right, so we're in 519, 519. Oh, that's perfect. So now we play the waiting game. And that means I'm going to speed up time while the Helio Lab catches us up. At this rate, I mean, we're not in a terribly different orbit than they are. I'm going to watch all that junk crash into the planet maybe nope it's got its own orbit <laughs> it's got a crazy orbit and so and this junk is moving on ahead of us so we're gonna keep going it's slowly catching up so let's uh let's go ahead and set his target there we go we could probably Honestly, we can probably start burning at our apoapsis here, and that'll help us to. F uh, well, we'll still we'll still be quite ahead, so we might have to make a couple of more maneuvers, or have an odd oblong approach. But as it stands, that's pretty good right there. Five kilometers away, uh, we're gonna have to really focus here. So, for starters, I'm going to make a quick save, and we're going to warp the next maneuver. Next maneuver. I'm going to have to split this video up into two because I hit uh, pause instead of rewind, or stop. So now it's a 22-minute video. <laughs> you still have 22 minutes. I know, but I guess we could do that. So... This is Ubiquitron, again, playing Kerbal Space Program, still. Uh, I'm going to stop this video right now before all the action begins. And we're going to start our rendezvous maneuvers in the next phase. So if you've stayed with us this long, thank you. Uh, if not, then no worries. You'll never know. But we'll see you in the future. <laughs>